Hello, this is Max Anja, and I would like to give you a quick overview about how the Altar of Infusion is working in the current version of Vampirism, which means version 1.4.9. Alright, so there are a couple of basic building blocks you are going to need. Obviously, you need the Altar of Infusion itself. You need a, a multiple pillar blocks which are crafted like this. Then you need a altar tip for every pillar. These require an iron block and some iron ingots. And then you need some filler blocks. These can be either stone bricks, iron blocks or gold blocks, depending on what kind of structure you need to build and which level you want to reach. So you combine these pillars, pillar blocks together to build pillars. They can be either two blocks or three blocks high and they have to be topped off with an altar pillar. By default they are empty, which means they are yeah, useless for the ritual, but you can fill them with these filler blocks by just right clicking them. And you can take them out again if you need to. So, how to build the actual structure? You place down the main block and then you have this 8 by, uh, 5 by 5 area, now it's not correct, from this central block you can go four blocks in each direction so you get a 9x9 nine nine area and you can place these pillars anywhere in this area, however I suggest you clear out the area and then build something nice looking. So you can build up to eight pillars to get the required points for the structure. However, you usually don't need that many. You can use only six for all uh, rituals. Yeah. You, for the first ones, I would just suggest placing down maybe four pillars with tips on top and then filling it them with cheap stone bricks. And then you should be good to go. I think I'm level four right now. Uh, yeah, just right click the central part with your bare hand and if it doesn't tell you the structure is wrong, that means the structure is correct. Now you just need to uh, fill in some required items. You can find about out about the requires, required items in the vampirism guide. In vampire leveling and then somewhere in the back there should be a list of items you need. If you want to reach level 5, so I'm level 4, I would like to reach level 5. I need 0 pure blood, 5 human hearts and 1 book. So I get myself some hearts. And the vampire book. Uh, you, if you want to put something inside, you need to hold some item in your hand and then right click. And then let's see what happens. It seems to work. The altar has recognized all four pillars and decided to use all of them. If you build more pillars than you actually need, it won't use the additional ones, but that doesn't have any effect. So now I'm level 5. 
let's see if the structure is still big enough. No. So in your now you need a better structure. You can now you can either add more pillars like um, this. Let's build one over here. Still not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six pillars. Okay, so you need even more points. So you could, for example, increase the height of these pillars. Still not enough. And even more. And more. So you already see that's uh, not a good idea, or it's not very helpful. Alright, uh, it's the, probably the cheapest way, but it requires quite a few pillars and it won't get you very far. However, now you got a structure that's worthy enough for the next level. Let's quickly do that. Um, probably need another book. And let's see. No, oh, now I need a purity one, which you can get from the vampire barons. So now it's using all six pillars. All right. So if you want to level up even further, you probably need. Uh, better filler blocks because you, as I said, you can only use up to six pillars, and but you still need more points, so you could replace that didn't work. Replace the blocks inside with something more valuable. Let's go for a very expensive or gold setup. I recommend you don't have any other blocks in between these pillars, but I think it shouldn't make a difference for the ritual in the current version. So this looks like a quite a good structure. Let's quickly get to level 13 and check if the structure is okay. No, not yet. One, two, three. So let's build another one up here. Mm, no, we got enough. Oh wait, I'm not sure what I said a few minutes ago. Uh, you can build, use up to eight pillars. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've only built six. <laughs> Good, so let's just for fun build two more. Maybe two small ones. And check, yeah, it's still enough. <laughs> Let's get ourselves the required items. Oh, you probably need two pure blood. Level five, purity five. Let's see what happens. So now the pillar automatically detects that it only needs these six most valuable ones and it doesn't even use those. So that's waste of gold, but maybe it looks cool if you want to. And that's how you get to level 14. I hope this helps a little bit in <laughs> getting this altar to work. Just keep in mind you can only use up to eight pillars. They have to be two or three blocks high. You need a 
I'll turn tip on top. And yeah, they should be placed closely to the altar of infusion itself. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Have a nice day.